Hello everybody, Indigo Priestess here. Yeah? Okay, um, so I thought I will just do this video quickly on, um, how, you know, doing tarot and doing spell casting during invocation. So yeah, I do this. All my tarots are done during invocation. Um, all my spells are done um, during invocation. And I find it to be a much better um, method and it just makes it more powerful and you connect much better with the entity okay um, you are able because you are at a level where you are much more a soul okay a soul doing the task than what you are a human being doing the task so I've often said, in, you know, I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing this, that I choose to be a soul living out my experience. It doesn't mean that I need to lose all connection with what is around me. We still need to enjoy life and what is around us. So don't lose touch of people around you. Okay. You need to have a balance. It's really important that we have a balance. So, um, yes. So basically if you um want to do a tarot if you want to do spell work i highly recommend that you do it during invocation okay you're probably wondering how can i do a tarot how can i do a spell during invocation if i don't know how to invoke it so the good news here is that i am going to make a video in fact right after this one on how to do a basic invocation and I'm going to also um, state the incantation that I was taught by Lucifer okay I'm going to state that in the video and I will leave the incantation below the video so you can write it and um, basically be able to do it on your own so don't stress too much if there's a spell on my channel or on another sorceress channel that you want to do you might be very interested in watching the next invocation video so that um, you can be more grounded during the spell casting and have a better connection with the entity um, whilst doing the spell okay I find this to be a very um, handy method of doing spell work and obviously a lot of people that have um, um, done a tarot with me knows how accurate it is when I do it in, during invocation apart from somebody who doesn't do it in um, I mean during invocation I'm not saying that the next person won't give you an accurate reading I just feel that my readings are way more accurate when um, in invocation um, than when I am not in invocation okay so um, yeah so I want you guys to practice what I will be teaching soon um, practice um, the basic way to invocate obviously there are many other ways to invocate so what I'm going to show you guys um, like I said is just an easy method it's a beginner's method and this will help you to reach the entity okay and help you to be more comfortable and not afraid of um, what you're going to do or what you are going to experience okay so it's not as hardcore but I cannot promise that you're not gonna have a hardcore hardcore experience because spirit has its own identity and if it wants to make itself known to you it's going to move things around you or try and let you know that it, it, it is there or give a message which is some people prefer through someone else and um, so yeah I thought let me just make this video to tell you guys that the method that I will be teaching you on invocation uh, it will really help you if you are a beginner or just a learner and you want to do your own um, spells for yourself for your own benefit um, you can do it through invocation um, basically it will add more power to what you are doing and you will definitely get a better results as the ancient gods they never fail you 
they are always there for you and they will always guide you so very short video i just wanted you guys to know that um, you shouldn't be afraid and um, yeah do tarot and do invocations um, just don't be afraid and dive deep i love you all and stay tuned for the invocation video